So as you can tell, we have some explaining to do from our last vlog. We kind of left things off. It's like, we don't know what's happening, but as you can see, we made it happen. We got into the shop and we are set up and ready for business. But there's a lot of things that happened in between that we didn't have the um, forethought of actually recording and putting up for you guys. So instead of going back to each location and recording it and making you believe that we actually did it and recreating it, we're going to show you in a theatrical production of how the last couple of months have gone. That's really dumb. I think they're really going to like the presentation and not being tricked. This is a Primo production on how we got fully funded. After our filming in August, September hit. September was completely boring. That is until... Oh, what is going on? What? You want to invest in Primo? We got our first round of independent funding. So after this, we were off to the races, looking for all the kind of lending we could find, grants, funding from other individuals, and bank loans. Banks first. I'm leaving here with some. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for a bank loan to start my business. Is that something you guys can help me with? Absolutely not, your business sucks. Well, okay, thanks anyways. So banks weren't an option. <laughs> no! 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 So at this part, we just ended up looking for as many grants as we could and applying for as many development company grants that would help businesses that don't have a lot of history of sales or proof of income. So that's where we started next. While we were waiting for the funding to come in and to hear back from some of the grants, we were shopping for our dream list of inventory so we could start putting orders in as soon as the money came in. What do you think about this one? Never mind. We got our grant money! So the next thing we had to do was source all the furniture for the shop. Come here. So with the grant given, plus what we were expecting in the next week, we're still about $20,000 short. So now we've got to find funding plan B. I'm never going to financially recover from this. So with the little bit of money we have left, we're going to start putting in orders while we wait for the next round of funding to come in. And there it is. Now we're ready to buy more furniture and more inventory. Let's go, Dill. What do you mean we're not going to be able to move in until three days before? And it's not going to have dressing rooms. This is the day that we're finding out that we're still needing dressing rooms. We were having some issues with the ceiling tile. Uh, and we might not be moving in until this day from what they are telling us. Keep in mind, this is final move-in grand opening day. So we still have about 50% of the inventory needing to come in. But we are fully funded and furnished and ready to go when they give us the green light. We have three days to go with our and I don't know if we're gonna move I was in pure shock. I thought I might have misheard. And this is where we pick up on the story. So we are here, it is Thanksgiving. Um, we have today and tomorrow to finish setting up the sh setting, setting up the shop. We have all our frames sitting here that need to be put up on the wall. We have all the mannequins, displays that need made, all the furniture that needs set up. Still have to go back up to the old shop, grab all the other furniture, um, desks, sewing machines, pressing tables, all that jazz. Um, but we are getting there. We are here with the wife, the sister, and the mascot, Dill. Come here, Dill. Dill, say hello to your fans. Ooh, good boy. All right, let's keep on loading boxes. We did it. I don't know how we did it, but we did. We got out of our first apartment uh, studio, I should say, into our other, um, 
it's kind of crazy looking at this place empty and being able to go into the other place and seeing it so full and the way we really wanted it to be. Um, so thank you guys for following. Let's kind of break down how we got to where um, we had our grand opening and it was a success. Alrighty, so we are just outside the shop. We're about to go in, open up, finish the fine details, clean some stuff up, um, and finally have our doors open for our first set of retail customers. It's Small Business Saturday. Honestly, didn't think we were gonna be able to get this done so quick. Um, just super pumped and excited, and honestly, beside myself, not actually thinking this was gonna happen. Um, like I was gonna wake up from this or something, but let's go in, we'll show you a pan of, a pan of the shop and how it turned out. You guys have seen the befores. Let's get to the afters. Um, so let's go in there. this video hopefully you found it a little bit entertaining um, I do apologize for the lack of posting and keeping you involved in this really intense time of the business um, and I feel really bad for not doing that but we are putting together a team to make this more streamlined so it's not just all on me remembering to bring my camera everywhere um, so hopefully you'll be seeing more posts more frequently and if you want to see some other type of content in the vlogs or a different style of vlog let us know down below let us know who your favorite vlogger is so we can kind of get some inspiration we're kind of figuring this out as we go. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, follow us on all of our other social channels, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.